Thomas became one of the first Americans to earn a full-time in-house position in a Korean animation studio. It was, it was challenging for me because at that time, I was only concerned about getting to South Korea. I hadn't thought about how to live there, you know, the fact that I didn't speak the language very well. So I was just like trying to find my identity in a studio full of South Korean talents. I was full time, you know, I worked 12, 13 hours a day and I only had Sundays off, you know, so it was, it was a lot of hard work. I, I never really encountered any racism or any difficulties because of my skin color in particular. Actually, in my opinion, I'd say it was the opposite. I think a lot of the staff at that South Korean animation studio had never had conversations with a black man, much let, let alone uh, work alongside them. 